Hello everyone, welcome to Deaf Mute Studio. I am joined by Gareth, just put the whole thing in, Gibson, and we are recommending horror films throughout. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so we are on the 17th of October. Gib, what is your pick for this? <laughs> right. uh, my pick um, is another trauma film on this list. Um, so it is uh, The Class of Newcomb High. Love that title. I've not seen it. It is. It's a great. It's a great title. Um, but it's a. It's a. It's a great. As, as far as uh, just eighties schlocky B movies, it's uh, it's at the tippity top for me. Um, it's uh, yeah. This one came off off the back of the success of the Toxic Avenger. Um, so the, it's uh, it's uh, like a trauma is it's a bit like um, like Kevin Smith had his own sort of universe, you know, he's a, a USQ universe, all set in Jersey. So all trauma films are all set in Traumaville. Um, so yeah. it has its own little again, its own little town in New Jersey as well. Funnily enough. Um, so yeah, basically just set it's a it's a high school that's uh, set right next to a nuclear power plant. Toxic waste is spilling through and stuff Classic. like that, and and people just start yeah start um starting either inhaling or absorbing this toxic waste and just starts turning all the students like the the students of uh, they were like the honor society and you know you know like the the glee club suddenly turn into these kind of like Mad Max like you know. Um, they're called the Cretans in it, but they're they've all got face paint on and wearing leather, like punky stuff, and they just beat the shit out of everyone. And they're dealing weed and stuff like that. Even like the weeds contaminated by toxic waste as well, and it's 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 just fun. There's just loads of green goo, and uh, and it's just it's got a cheesy AC soundtrack, cheesy AC acting. Um, it's uh, it's my it's it's personally my favorite trauma movie, my favorite of Lloyd Kaufman's as well. Um, yeah. It's uh, if you if you love your cheesy B movies, I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yet again, I'm sold. I'm a uh, yeah. I'm all. I'm fully on the uh, the cheesy eighties horror yeah. film. It's a film that's him. got yeah. It's a film that's got a lot of uh, like hilarious moments, like intentionally. But then there's a lot of unintentional, just like really funny parts as well. <laughs> just the acting and, uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to enjoy as well. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I, uh, another one I, I look forward to. I'm going to have one hell of a Halloween watching all these fun films, Gib. Yeah, it's an easy one to track down as well. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can even watch it on YouTube, I think. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's, it, it's, it's an easy one to get hold of. A lot of the trouble ones are. Oh, excellent! I will, uh, I will YouTube it up then. Yeah, and a great double bill as well as you'd like to watch the Toxic Avenger and Class of Newcomb High just back to back. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, they're definitely fun, fun, fun. If you just like gooey, toxic, you know, a toxic waste, you always kind of associate. There's a lot of uh, a lot of films in the eighties. You, you know, a lot of people got. There was always toxic waste somewhere. <laughs> um, that really was. <laughs> it was. Yeah. So I think even Jason kills someone with toxic waste at one point in one of the films, and and then one of the Friday the Thirteenth films. But so yeah, but yeah, it's uh, I highly recommend it. I mean, yeah, I will. Uh, I I will take the recommendation of doing a double bill as well. I would do as well. Yeah, I'll enjoy. Excellent. Well, for my for my gib uh, for my, for my gib <laughs> for my pick gib. Uh, yet again, not nearly as fun. Uh, I've picked the The Hills Have Eyes remake from 2006. Yes. Now, yet again, I've I've not seen the original by Wes Craven, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. So I've not seen that, but I've like the fourth bit never really intrigued me. But I was I liked it, like when when this came out in 2006. I was. I, I was in university and I was it was a very boring time cinematically it was very it was, it was very bland and I, I wasn't really getting like I'm I'm probably on my own with this but maybe not uh, sometimes you get like a bit of bloodlust when when it comes to cinema you just need to see something violent gratuitous bloody just to just to make yourself go ah now I don't have to do that. 
to stay sane. <laughs> so you're basically saying you was on the brink of being a serial killer. Yeah. And, this, and, this, and this film maybe uh, just, you know, I, I mean, I mean quench some of the firsts. <laughs> We've all dabbled. <laughs> But yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah. This film is insanely violent and gory and nasty. It's so fucking nasty, isn't it? It it is very. Uh, I I always have a go at Rob Zombie for being very mean spirited in his films, yeah. but I'll gladly let this one slide just because I think yeah. it's 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 really well made. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I feel like it's not made in a in a really mean spirited way. Like it's just, it is. I say it is very nasty. Like it just pulls no punches. And um, I mean, as it goes for the original, I mean, the original is 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 decent. Um, it's very dated. Um, but the this, but the remake is. It, it's it, it treads a really fine line of being really good. It's a very good adaptation as well, though. Like it's quite faithful to the original. Oh, wow. But but definitely, and it's a, you know it it, it does modernise it. It's it's a it's it's you know it's made a bit more slick as well. It's you know it's got a bigger budget behind it. Um, it 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 it's uh, the only thing that's not really in the original is the like the, the the town you know of those nukes and things like that. Like that backstory is not really a, it doesn't really describe like talk about that in the original. So that was something that was added for it. Um, but yeah, this is yeah, it's a solid remake, and I, I do enjoy this one probably more. But I, but but it is, I would rec I do recommend watching the original at some point though. It's uh, if if you do like this one as well. Oh, excellent! Yeah, well, I think I think I, I I pretty much need to. If I if I like the remake, I need to do, mm. I need to track back and watch the original. It, it only seems fair. Yeah, I think what Wes Craven was on board with the remake as well. Like, I think he was some sort of producer, I think, or a, um, you know, some advisor or something like that on it. So, like, he was kind of involved. Um, but yeah, it, it came off around that time when we had. Um, so it was like only like a couple of years after the Dawn of the Dead remake as well. And I always yes. found, I found them two very similar. Like, they've got a kind of a similar um, title sequence. And yes, they yeah, do. Yeah. Um, yeah, another good remake as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's got some it's got some very harrowing death scenes in it, which really got me when I first saw it. Yeah, it's it's re it's it's a really gritty film, and and I I I think I think what tipped me over the edge to go watch it is I I I watched uh, Switchblade Romance. Yes. Before I had the same director Alexander Arja. Arja, yeah. And I really like Switchblade Romance, despite the, the the twist was a bit was a bit much. It it, it goes a bit beyond your uh, your like you can't really I don't know it just doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Just... It, it? It doesn't, but like technically, uh, I thought it was I, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was great, and I, you, you can forgive a film for a, a twist going wrong. A, a creative decision just didn't quite land, but the film itself was really well made. I thought Hilda Byers was really well made, and I was looking forward to seeing how his career would go because I thought I thought he had a, a really good eye and his pacing was always good. Mm. But he, for me, he kind of just fell off a bit. I, I wasn't I wasn't a big fan of Mirrors. Piranha 3D was quite fun. Mm. Uh, Horns was all right, but yeah. Yeah, Horns was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed that, but not it didn't didn't blow me away or anything. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think for me, this is his strongest film. I I, I really enjoyed it. It's got Ted Levine in. Yeah, Which is like Ted Levine, who plays an absolute twat in it as well, isn't he? Oh, he, he is he is the stepdad from hell, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, just that condescending, like, just yeah, yeah, he'd be the yeah the stepdad from hell, definitely. Um, yeah, um, but like, there's some great performance in it as well. I'm not too sure at the, what, what, the the main guy, like the the main guy in it, the oh, glasses and oh, stuff. Oh, Pyro. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, from X Men. Is that who it is? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Aaron Aaron Stanford. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, he I definitely really had a really good performance in it. Like it was quite quite believable in the way that like he kind of um, sort of 
it's sort of uh, like the stepdad kind of tries to make out that he's a bit of a you know a bit of a millennial first and a bit of a you know kind of you know I don't know, but like a bit, like a bit of a wimp maybe, but like it's kind of realistic how he he kind of sort of steps up and you know defends himself because he's you know he's trying to get his kid back as well and it's it's not it's not like overly cheesy or like you know how we just kind of or unrealistic as well how he, you know he starts like you know, he starts fucking up some of these mutants doesn't he? I mean he, he has a really good character arc. Yeah, yeah, it, and and the, the the teenager as well like the teenage lad. Who normally would just probably be like the really whiny, annoying, shitty, you know, little brother that's just there to just get killed. But he kind of, uh, it's again, realistically, like, sort of really steps up for his family and his sisters and his, well, for his mum, for, well, tries to anyway. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's again, kind of, re- but in a realistic way, nothing cheesy about it or just, you know, um, yeah, and just like a, 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 say a really cool family dynamic that kind of, um, yeah, they sort of all band together really, and and and, it, and it's kind of like that in the original as well. But the, some of the some of the characters are a little bit more annoying in the original. Yeah. They're a little bit more uh, better written in this one, so to say. Yeah, I two solid choices. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to Class of Newcomb High. To be honest, Gib, with a title like that. It can't fail. You should probably, because uh, so Trauma have their own streaming service. You should probably just uh, subscribe to that for a month. It's only like a fiver. You should oh. probably just plow through it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Consider it done. 